Hey, hey, hey mid. You've got to be kidding Eddie, let's go. Uh, Samel is now a support mid player. This is EG's new meta. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Weaver mid, right? No, no it has nice to be AA. Stalker. Nice stalker mid. No, it's hey, mid. Hey, yes, hey, hey, mid. 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 Holy. All right, winner, give me your final thoughts here. And what the what the goal is? I mean, I think they just want to play around Chrono and AA ult as soon as possible. That's like the biggest okay. power spike they can get because the heroes on the side of friends are relatively squishy. Like Queen, Io, Luna, uh, they're really easy to just blow up. So you know, you get that uh, you get that damage early. Is G dead? He's dead. Uh, he's dead. Was he only level one and didn't have the blink yet? He had shadow strike. cooldown. Yeah, yeah he, he had shadow, shadow strike level one. So they just swarm onto him and they take him down. First blood is going to go to EG. See it very much for Just obvious reasons. So weird. Like yesterday, yeah. they go against Navi, they play their normal EG game, and today they're like, let's just do it different. <laughs> totally I mean, different. This. Lower bracket, too. But okay. uh, here we go. They have the uh, setup right there. There's the cold feet combo. Yep, they get oh, it. when they get it done. It's corny, but it does the job here. There's the support duo in the mid lane is looking to put in some work. They'll get the cleanup as well, as they also take down Lady Luna with some interference coming in from Zai right behind. And the landing phase so far seems to be... They need to adjust, I think, friends. That... I don't think they can leave the IO Luna here. Uh-oh. And this is where uh, AA, unfortunately, is a bit of a downside. He's, he's being run, ran at. He can't run. <laughs> he has no escape mechanism at all, except just dropping ice vortexes to slow them down. He doesn't even have legs. Can't, yeah, can't he's just away. a, it's ice, just moving cold. This is tier one, and uh, they have Zai back, waiting behind, and uh, with the rotation coming in now, we'll have to see if it's going to be enough here. There's going to be the Chrono Ice Blast is actually just short of that area. While back behind G unloads the Sonic Wave here, and they will be able to take down Sumail first. It's a one for one trade, and now Zai thinks he can muscle back Aloha Dance here, but G is going to be holding strong. Gets out the screen. Meanwhile, back and below, you can see PPD making chase for No Fear. Universe is going to join in. Gets the tag off, and they're going to be able to take him down. Aloha Dance, though, pops out the Eclipse. Hopes to get a connection on for Zai. We'll get it there. Could have been the Lucid Beam that did it, but nonetheless, it is going to be friends who walk away with a couple of kills. But hey, if he... he would need Blink Force in order to reliably disable the Lincolns and catch. It's just about getting into range to break the Lincolns and the other heroes is very difficult. Okay, Universe jumps, Chrono, it's going to be for the Wisp here, uh, Ice Blast will connect, and uh, that could be the end of the Wisp, it looks like it will be here on the other side, Fear has made his presence, Sonic Wave is going to be the spot from G, a good connection on that one, Ooh, one for one trade, and the follow-up as they take down PPD, Alasso is going to be there, Fear though moves to the back lines, is going to be able to get the cleanup kill, taking out uh, Aloha Dance, makes it a one, or a two for two, but uh, no fear. Big ogre. Oh, bashes right oh in the faces. My God. My no him. face. Your two faces get bashed twice in a row. Unbelievable. One for each head. Yep. I'm kind of wondering, like, friends have this Luna, right? But the Luna doesn't match up against really either of the cores of EG, like the the Weaver or the Bat, that well, because you can't utilize Eclipse against either of them unless they're disabled. Goku's in trouble, man. Oh my, okay. that was... Uh, whoops. Oh boy. Well, time lapse juked. <laughs> no one saw that. No one saw that. It's fine. Just walk it off, dude. Dagger. I'm sure that mid, mid lane fight helps. Plus, EG have been doing very good on following up with tower takedowns, too. So he's been swelling up quite a bit. While friends are looking for their own tower push here in the top lane, EG yet to be on the mark. Universe here now commits in, catches both with the Chrono. Ice Blast, is it coming? Yes, it is. It will connect. Boom! And that is going to be the end of the Wisp. And they're going to be looking to get a follow-up here for Aloha Dance. They seek him out. He's got the Swarm onto him. Universe got the Blink, but they also have a Lasso, nice. and they quickly turn it back and around with a wonderful Eclipse and shoot down the Faceless Void. Fear tries to worm his way out. Sukuchis gets back and behind Aloha Dance here, tries to right-click him, but now he's the one that's getting rattled. They're going to bump him back with the Flame Break. Disruption's there by PPD to help him a bit. And now EG are looking to come in for round number two. And that is where friends are trying to get the hell out. But it looks like No Fear is going to be the one man left behind here. So they slow him down bit by bit with Poison. Fear, who's way deep right now. Oh, they got them trapped here. Yoku can't quite make it out. Looking to fly away. They're going to bring down the Wisp. Fear is still very low, but he continues to stay alive. Friends making it back out to safety and... Rascal, when the dust does settle, game in their favor because once the Weaver starts getting scared, that's what you want. You want the Weaver to be scared, which is why we emphasize the importance of the Orchid. Oh, hard jump in by G. Just thinking he can make a quick solo pick for Sumail, but they turn it right back around with their own Chrono Ice Blast. He says, 
Agnums. No, thank you, sir. Well, how dare you come into my home? That was. Thank you for the Agnum scepter. The raindrop saved him, I think. It ate the Shadow Strike tick. I think it was. I have to continue to pressure, outplay, take the objectives away from EG, and somehow not get caught in a bad chrono. Okay, Yoku's thinking about making a move here. Is Zai the best target, though? They're gonna get the quick disruption on him. There's a Chrono catching a Loha dance. That means the Ice Blast is also gonna connect. Piranha relocate, pulled back out. They keep him alive for now, but the Ice Blast is already connected. That's an Ags 1-2, and they'll be able to finish him off. It's actually Fear who's gonna get the last click in. Universe just begins to right click down this Wisp. He's gonna be set to go down here. It looks like another big fight for EG on this one as friends frantically try to find their way out of the, well, the shitstorm. Yeah, it ain't working out so high right now for friends. It is, it is panic stations. He's he found a TP. Yoku, not so fortunate though. This just bat, boom, just bashing, beating the shit out of him. Just give me your wallet. He did. <laughs> Four go down for friends. EG lose nobody. That was making smoke plays or something to try to yeah. catch out EG. You just have no control of the game anymore. Oh man, small timer too. EG take oh, a big fight boy. here. Oh they boy. Oh get it done. They move in right from behind. They're going to be setting up disruption while they just quickly take out the Wisp. Don't even try to save this Luna. Ice Blast, Chrono, everything to make sure she doesn't make it away. I mean, the Ice Blast would have connected and it might have been good enough. We got to win the game. Otherwise, you know, this Weaver is just going to be unkillable. And, you know, Fear is getting kind of to that point, right? It really is. Oh, Yoku trying to avoid the trouble here, knows if he runs into those trees down below, he's, he's certain to get hit, but there's really nowhere safe to hide from old man. He could have TP'd yeah. though, I think. Just nowhere safe. Eyes. Just can't. You're just scared. What do you do, Draskal? Weaver's hunting you down, you're shaking up, you can't TP. Dude, I don't know. Always wanna fly. Okay, he's back now, and they're squaring up here against Universe. Gets off the time dilation, and he's like, good luck casting spells now. Okay, but G shows up, oh, and it's a force. sidestep. Jesus. Ankle breaker. No uh, Sonic wave for you. G goes back in regardless, commits out the screen. Good Ice Blast here, will connect. Yunura is going to be forced to time walk back it away. Okay. Luna dishes out the Eclipse here. Still no one from EG going down quite yet. A disruption stalls things out, but they are going to get the Sumail AA down, but most of the damage has been on the side of friends. They quickly lose four. EG now make their way down this mid lane. Circumstances, like they're, they're just... Always out on the map trying to do something. They're not just giving EG the breathing room. Yeah, I mean, they're farming. They're matching up in farm fine with EG. It's just yeah. EG have better chess pieces. They have you know, better items and a better game plan at the moment. I mean, friends are trying to play chess, and EG are just playing checkers and laughing at them. Okay, there goes the Chrono. It's actually going to be for no fear, just the Ogre. But there is Aloha Dance back and behind. Universe looks to isolate him while G made his move inside. Him and Yoku looking to kind of find one target here, but it's not going to be easy. Disruption saves Zai and keeps him away from a lot of trouble. Now Aloha Dance charging on in the back of BKB Eclipse, but it's going to be uh, used on a lot of creeps there on the back end. And now he has to quickly pull away. Not so good. EG take this fight too, and they rush on in to see if they can get any sort of uh, stragglers here. The bug gets that little wisp. They'll get him. Yeah, this, this game is super hard. They, they didn't even have to sphere the Luna that time. They were just like, eh, we're just going to sphere somebody. Anyone we catch is fine. And, uh, target to be able to punch. And that's why you have the bat, right? Because he's supposed to be the one who pulls a target into you to punch. But you can't do that if the bat rider can't jump anybody. And that's what I feel like has been the consistent theme. Look at these glades, though. Okay, the Chrono is going to catch Aloha Dance here. Here comes Aloha. Oh, okay. okay, that's yeah. good. That's okay. good. Okay. Oh, I always mix up. Always going to play an Aloha Dance. But they have been a quite the pairing here. They will get the save. PVD is going to be the one that will be last with it. Yoku pulls them all the way back. But Fear begins to go to work on G. G sidesteps, pulls away. And they can't really infiltrate here while Fear does his business on the back end side and begins to clean up the rest of the pieces here. Three go down from friends as they begin to take down Aloha Dance. They make it four fear beyond freaking godlike as he gets a triple cure triple cure triple cure triple, triple kill. kill here and now Blah. see the way the game played out and how impossible it is for them to kill fear it's it's really the big factors you need to be able to pick up here and they call it gg so we are going to a game three g the second series straight will be going to another game three evil geniuses what crazy support are they going to throw in the mid lane next? I mean, it worked out.